Hey people, Lone Bass Mel. It's my 46th Wi-Fi battle against Polly Battler from YouTube. I've battled him before. Uh, I actually had a couple matches with him. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is a pretty sweet match. We had a battle before this where I used my, my standard team that I've been using lately. Uh, he asked me not to post that one, so I didn't. But So we grabbed some random pokes for the rematch. Uh, I started off with Lee, who you should have all seen before my UU battles. Um, he has a Focus Sash. So I'm gonna go for an agility first. Um, I, I I could SD or I could uh, agility, and I'm obviously going to agility because then I outspeed the swell unless it had the priority move, which uh, I don't you know you don't usually see. But um, so I'm gonna baton pass and go ahead and switch out to Tonka, my Rhyperior, who takes the facade beautifully, uh, has a beautiful attack stat, beautiful defense stat, good HP, and now a doubled speed stat, which is pretty useful. I was predicting the switch here. I had a really great setup at the beginning of this match. I mean, I have a uh, something that I can outspeed after an agility, something that's physical that Tonka can take care of. And I fuck it up, and I go for Earthquake, expecting the switch to something that would get hit by it. Um, I should have gone for a Rock Slide, bottom line. Switch out to Risner, my Frit, who you should also all know. I was worried after Hidden Powered. I wasn't sure what that was. It was fighting, but it didn't kill me. I was I was pretty impressed. Um, but uh, I hit him with a Sucker Punch. You don't see... See, the cool thing about using UUs like this, you don't you don't see Furrits ever. Um, I can't remember the last battle I've seen a Furrit use. Maybe Sludge Face, but... Use Sucker Punch, take him right out. I know he's going to Will-O-Wisp, so I switch out to Juliana, uh, who you saw on my Mono-type team. Um, this Milotic, so uh, Marvel Scale, Marvel Scale, um, because of the burn, I'll get Marvel Scale, and in general, I don't care about a burn just because I'm special based. Um, he wakes up on the, he gets early wake ups throughout this entire thing. He gets an early wake up there, and he hits for a crit on my on my uh, flipping Espeon, Espera. Um, he doesn't get crit on the second one, and here's the dumb thing. I was expecting Shadow Sneak, so I switch out to uh, Risner to take the Shadow Sneak. He doesn't have Shadow Sneak. So he was going to go. He was just going to go for another Thunder Punch and take whatever hit I was going to give him with the Shadow Ball. And it turns out that, he, you know, it's totally screwed over my uh, for it. so he got a little bit lucky there. Uh, I hit him with a Shadow Ball. Now I get the Special Defense Drop, obviously. My luck. But, uh... I mean, it's all right. I don't know. I could be doing. I could be doing worse. Switching Tour Man, my Lucario, who you also saw on my Mono type team. He's special choice scarf, and I uh, hit him with a Shadow Ball. Going to take him right out. Works out pretty dang well, obviously. And uh, I don't remember who he switches. He switches Swallow back in. Um, this maybe seeing if he's scarfed or not, and I am scarfed, so I switch out because obviously uh, Shadow Ball is not going to affect him. Switch out to Tonga. Take take it really just great and this time I'm going to go for a freaking rock slide like I should and uh, take swallow out so I'm making a bit of a comeback I did pretty horribly at the beginning other than that initial setup but I fucked up the initial setup so it wasn't very cool uh, he switches in an ambipom he does good he does well with his ambipom um, I was afraid I've seen new analysis of ambipom seen some special um, based nasty plot sweepers um, and I was afraid of the T-Bolt, and I, sh like, I was expecting the T-Bolt. I was completely expecting the T-Bolt, but I stayed in. And, but I hit him with the Hypnosis, I, and I was really surprised, surprised that I survived, but I did survive, which was, you know, obviously pretty sweet. I mean, after a nasty plot, Thunderbolt, I think I might have gone down, but, and, but I, I get him to sleep, and I recover, which is, you know, really sweet. Uh, I get hit with the burn, which means if he wakes up, his uh, T-Bolt is going to be... Um, it's going to kill me. But I hit him with a Surf. He's got half HP now. A little bit, a little less than half HP. He wakes up. And it was a bit of an early wake up. It was He'd already been sleeping for two turns, so I guess it wasn't that early, but he doesn't get hacks that bad with sleeping this this uh, match, which is lucky for him, I guess. I, hit him with, I bring back in my uh, Lucario. I hit him with an Aura Sphere. Uh, I could have gone for HP uh, Ice. Didn't really need to. Had I gone for HP Ice, it probably wouldn't have been a good idea, because then I would have been able to take out the Sorterra right away, but it didn't matter. Switching Lee to... I didn't know the Earthquake was coming. I was actually going to use Lee as fodder, but it turns out he EQs. And I hit him with a Bug Blast. It does great. 
And I was really happy about that. I mean, I did over half. I mean, it, it wouldn't matter anyway just because of um, HP Ice. But, dang. So I, I hit him with an HP Ice. And uh, that's going to KO his Torterra. Bottom line. Switches in a Roserade. And that's pretty much game. Except I hit him with a Hidden Power. And it doesn't kill him. And he hits me with the Leaf Storm. I was pretty concerned. I resisted, but, you know, I was still concerned. But, um, I survived, which was sweet. I might, there was a chance that I could have lost had, had I not survived that. But, good match, Pally Battler, PB. And, uh, yeah, actually, I have another match that I'm going to have with him probably tomorrow. I'll post that, too, but thanks for the challenge. Uh, keep challenging people, like always. Comment, rate, sub. See you guys later.